First, we're going to start in the conference room here. Up front, they have a large touchscreen conference display that allows them to draw and mark as needed on the display. Um, it also functions just as a large screen, as you can see now. This is currently a multi-viewer, so they're showing four different images. In this case, they have an Apple TV, a masked camera, and both outputs from their radar system. At each of the workstations, there are PCs with dual displays. Every workstation also has a touch panel for intuitive video routing and device control. This allows them from a touch panel to be able to dictate what video is shown on which screens and control the volume, power, input, etc. for the different devices in the truck. This workstation also features a headset intercom system tied to a tri-band radio. They have remote connections for video, USB connections to the PC and network, radio push to talk. This is a small outboard control station for the radar system. The rest of the workstations are a little more standard minus the radar controls. Again, they have input and output boxes for connections, full headset intercom systems for radio with push to talk, as well as touch panel video control and routing. Every workstation also has a PC with wireless mouse and keyboard set. Looking around the command room here, the conference table in this room provides seating for up to eight and includes, again, more data, power, and HDMI video input and output connections. It has a video tele teleconferencing suite. This is the speaker phone. The camera is located above the TV and they can seat up to eight people in here at the conference table plus more on the benches to either side of the room. This will allow them to have large video teleconferencing as needed with touch screen for briefings, Google Earth, etc. Above the bench sheets on either side in the conference room are displays that can show various information. In this example, this shows all their perimeter cameras for situational awareness, as well as a weather station that shows the current weather readings where they're located. Every bench seat also includes storage underneath for them to store all the various odds and ends that it takes to run a command center. The back half of the truck is dedicated to user workstations. Every workstation has a PC and a large monitor monitor can show picture in picture, so they could work on the PC on one half and then show a routed video input on the other half. Most of the time for the users though, they're going to use this as a large dedicated workspace for their associated PCs, the radio headsets, again with the push to talk, squelch, all the controls in front of them, as well as their video control panels for controlling the audio video systems. Another nice feature of these workstations is the pedestal mounted chairs that swivel and turn, allowing the users to hold impromptu meetings at the stationary conference table in the middle of the room. In the middle of the truck are the three communications equipment racks. They're basically segregated by function. The left rack here is the radio rack, so it has the radios, the radio patching, and interoperability suites, as well as some storage and a UPS system. The central rack in this truck, accessible behind the rack doors, contains all the network equipment, including the satellite communications gear, the cellular routing, as well as their touchscreen radar controls. There's also some onboard PC servers and a bunch of video decoding equipment. Finally, the third rack contains a lot of the audio video equipment. One thing you may notice, a nice feature that they added, is a roof camera display above the racks. This allows them to know when all the communications equipment on the roof is properly stowed before transit. There's also their wireless access point, the interior wireless access point located here. Outside of the truck are located two exterior monitor compartments as well as a wireless speaker system. This will allow the speaker to give briefings either inside or outside the truck and broadcast the audio to the curb or passenger side of the vehicle.